KJ Costello is headed to Starkville. We gotta talk about it after the bubble. Don't be cornering me. Hold up. Time. You gotta help me with that, that corner sh**. <laughs> What's up, kinfolk? It's RJ Young. I am not on a step mill. Consider hitting the like and subscribe button because I upload a video every single day. It's always college football related. It's sports related. We have a good time. Today, we need to talk about the new... Quarterback at Mississippi State, K.J. Costello. Coming out of Stanford as a grad transfer means he's going to be eligible right away to get this SEC West defense nightmare. No, it ain't going to be like that. Mississippi State's still Mississippi State. And I love how you, the folks are couching this as a battle between Garrett Schrader and K.J. Costello. K.J. Costello about that. This job, Garrett Schrader about to be at his walking papers. But you know what? Maybe he'll stick around. Or maybe he's going to do that helicopter move that he did against Kansas State. We'll see. K.J. Costello coming off his best year in 2018, where he threw for over 3,500 yards, 29 touchdowns. Looked apart, played part, looked good. Handing the ball to Bryce Love. Bryce Love was ready to go. Looked good. Throwing the ball to J.J. Arcega, white side. Looked good until 2019 when he got knocked out of the game. Then he got knocked out of another game. And uh, Davis Mills, who's a five-star quarterback, Comes in there. Uh, kind of gave the, the job back. Didn't really know who was going to be the quarterback. And then KJ Costello said, you know what? I'm out this mug. And goes from running the pro-style, run-heavy David Shaw offense to Mike Leach's air raid. I am excited about this. I'm excited about this for a number of reasons. One, Mike Leach has a quarterback that has an arm and is sturdy enough to take on a pass rush, which is great. KJ Costello has a big enough arm to make this very, very entertaining. I also enjoy Kylan Hill is returning at tailback, and he could be better than Matt Borgie. So, knowing all these things, then knowing that Mississippi State has back-to-back -back games against LSU and Alabama, yeesh, on the road, I'm going to get to see KJ Costello walk through that fire into the frying pan. We didn't start the fire. It was in Tuscaloosa and uh, Lane Kiffin and Sam Pittman and Ed Orgeron and Jimbo Fisher and Gus Malzahn and damn. I don't know this is going to go well, but I'm going to watch it like you're going to watch it because I want to see Mike Leach deliver air raid hell to the SEC West because you know that they're probably going to go 6-6 six and six at best, but you also know that in one of these games... J KJ Costello is going to throw four for 600 yards. It's going to be so much fun. It's going to be so much fun. That's what it's going to be. It's going to be him throwing for 600 yards and a 20-point loss to Alabama and Nick Saban having an aneurysm. It's going to be him going straight at the chest to Bo Pelini's defense, going for 430 with five tutties and him having an aneurysm. It's going to be Kevin Steele throwing up the play card going, Hey, guys, they're only running three plays. How come we can't stop three plays? And it's going to be Mike Leach not even looking at the play sheet, sending in formation, telling KJ Costello to not only run that, but to the dudes behind him, yo, make me some more Bucci, okay? You make a mean cup of Bucci. Make me some more Bucci, okay? It's going to be Mike Leach at the pressers talking about, yeah, KJ came from uh, Stanford, and David Shaw did a great job teaching him how to play quarterback, and I just kind of put him into a different scheme and aired the ball out because the whole premise of Mike Leach's air raid is to make your defense wrong, turn every play into a math problem because the air raid is designed to take advantage of a stronger, faster defense and it overcorrecting, right? We're going to send more guys out in routes than you can cover. We're going to get rid of the ball in a hurry. We're going to run four verticals. We're going to run mesh. We're going to run blue left, right, 92. We're going to run floods. We're going to run some real basic stuff, and we're going to run it over and over and over and over again till we can run it in our sleep. Till routes on air is what you see on Saturday nights. That's what it's going to be, and that's how fun this team is going to be to watch. I am here for all of this because K.J. Costello provides something that Mike Leach has never had, which is a big, sturdy, strong quarterback it's not even that he can avoid the rush. That is going to be difficult to bring down. I've always been fascinated with the idea of Cam Newton running air raid. And this ain't Cam Newton. K.J. Costello is not Cam Newton. I'm saying 
What if a guy was the size of Blake Bell, six foot six, two hundred sixty six pounds, Super Bowl champion Blake Bell, and ran the air raid? Because we got to see some version of it, right, with Josh Heupel, but it ain't the same thing. Go fast, hurry up, throw for six thousand yards. Anthony Gordon broke Pac-12 records, and who the hell is Anthony Gordon to an SEC fan, right? Gardner Minshew was at the Heisman ceremony in 2018. People forget that. And had a better statistical season than a lot of the guys that played NFL football as rookies, just didn't play as many games. That's why he wasn't considered really for the NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year award. Keep going down the list of great quarterbacks that played for Mike Leach, and you'll see that all these dudes are just dudes. B.J. Simmons is just a dude. Cliff Kingsbury was just a dude. Graham Harrell was just a dude. Now he's an outstanding dude as USC offense coordinator. Lincoln Riley was so bad as a quarterback at Texas Tech that Dana Holgerson and Sonny Dykes went up to Mike Leach and said, stop having this guy throw passes to my receivers because they know that the ball ain't ever going to get there and they're never going to get it. And if you want us to sell that the wide receivers are going to have fun in this offense and that this is a wide receiver happy offense, you're going to have to tell this kid, Lincoln Riley, that he can't play quarterback anymore. So Mike Leach had to tell Lincoln Riley, hey, yo, bro, uh, how about be a student assistant? It's just a dude, right? Now give him a prototypical pro-style quarterback to compete with with his offense, and you can see how this is going to be so much fun. Because the thing that Mike Leach does best is give his quarterbacks and his offense the best opportunities to win by simplifying what they do and running it better than you run your scheme. And I keep going back to what's it going to look like for the scheme to go up against an SEC defense, and I keep trying to tell y'all, yeah, they're going to get beat, but it ain't going to be a game where they throw for like 230 on 20 or 50. That ain't what it's going to be. They're going to get theirs. They're going to score points. The defense might not be that great, but we're still going to wait and see what that looks like because you can recruit in the Mississippi State area. And that was one of the things that Mike Leach went out and said about why it was really difficult for him to turn down this job. You know the kind of talent that comes out of the area. You can go to Northwest Arkansas. You can go to Tennessee. You can go to Alabama. You can go to Louisiana. You can go to Arkansas when you got to go there in the bottom. You can go to Oklahoma. You can go to Texas. You can go to Florida. You can go to Georgia. You're going to recruit good players because they just sprout them up. Like, if you just rope off northern Mississippi, you're going to be pretty good. Just don't let the kids from South Panola leave. Go down to Oak Grove and get you a kid every once in a while, right? John Rice Plumlee's from Hattiesburg. You know, I mean, you just keep going down here and looking at some of the guys that come out of Hoover, Alabama, come out of Montgomery, Alabama. Mike Leach is going to be just fine. I can't wait to see what K.J. Costello, though, looks like in his offense. All right, that is it for me. Deuces.